Good afternoon, families. I uh, just want to get a quick message out as we move towards your graduation ceremony. Um, barring unforeseen or last minute changes, this really should be the last spring update that I post for you. Um, but I'm, I'm very glad to share that I think that you'll find that this is very positive news. You know, as we move towards graduation, we've been going through this process of uh, planning, you know, based on what we know as it relates to the guidance from MDH and the guidance from our governor. We change things and then we try to update you and communicate those changes. And that process has uh, been going on since April. And as they change things, we change right along with them in terms of what's required for uh, from us. At this point, uh, I am glad to say we're able to move forward with our in-person ceremony on Sunday, June 6. It will be at two o'clock and there is no COVID requirements um, that will be in place at that. Of course, if people want to practice things such as wearing a mask, they can, but it won't be required. And this is uh, as a result of the end of our safe learning plan uh, that the MDH puts out and the governor, the governor's guidance in terms of what's required of us. So we will move forward with the ceremony as it has been in the past, um, really with no COVID related requirements and restrictions. I wanna thank all the kids, you know, that have been in the high school this year for adhering to that safe learning plan. And, and all of our staff for enforcing it. Everybody's done a wonderful job meeting the requirements that we need to make to get us to this point. I wanna thank the parents uh, for your patience. It's taken a long time um, and oftentimes we have to wait as a district and as a school to communicate until we know from MDH as to what is required of us. So thank you for your patience as it relates to that. And please know that we're super excited uh, for the upcoming event and the upcoming ceremony and glad to be in the place that we're in as it relates to all of that. In terms of our baccalaureate night and scholarship night, uh, it's coming up on Wednesday the 26th. Baccalaureate starts at 6.30, scholarship starts at 7.00. Uh, our safe learning plan is still in place during that time. Um, so we do have some different guidelines and requirements that we have to follow on that evening. Uh, please use the link that's been sent out to sign up for your tickets in terms of us meeting the capacity limitations that we have to work with. Um, again, you'll have two tickets available to you and an additional two if you're a blended family. If you're attending the baccalaureate only, um, the, the link went out for scholarships in terms of signing up for tickets. You can use those tickets for baccalaureate as well. If you're only attending baccalaureate, we will just do a sign in um, in terms of, of knowing who's here in the event that we have to do some contact tracing. So use your scholarship link to sign up for tickets. Baccalaureate only will be a sign in when you get here. Masks do apply to those events, so please bring a mask. Social distancing applies. All the things that we've been practicing all year will be in place for those events. That being said, our outlook for the fall and a return uh, to what we know as normal is looking very positive. Um, I'm optimistic that we'll be able to return in the fall with, with no real COVID requirements and very hopeful for that. Uh, with that, you know, I wish you a great summer and I'll see you all back in the fall.